Hey everybody, Smart Silver Stacker here. Today we're going to be talking about silver bars. As you can see, we've got a number of specimens here to go over. Silver bars are awesome. They're one of my favorite ways to stack silver. Traditionally, they have been one of the ways that you can get silver for the best price. They're one of the lowest premium forms of silver. And, you know, there's just something really satisfying about a bar of silver. You can stack them up. They feel quite a bit like treasure, even more so than coins, I would say. And they're just a great way to stack silver. So today we're going to be talking about some of the different sizes and different types of silver that are available. Some of the vintage collectible bars and, you know, what to look for there. We're also going to talk about generic silver and then some of the slightly more premium bars. And I'll also be giving you my top pick for what I think is the best silver bar to be stacking in 2022 because things have changed in the silver market. You know, premiums are kind of wonky right now and it can be a little bit tougher to find a good deal when you're shopping for bullion these days. So I'm gonna share with you what I think is the best deal on silver bars right now. So it's gonna be a great video. We're gonna cover a lot. Let's get to it. All right, so as you can see, silver bars come in all shapes and sizes, all the way from your one gram Valcombi bar here up to your 100 ounce Engelhard. And there are even larger bars than that. You can get 1,000 ounce bars. That's what they keep at the Comex. But for your average stacker, 100 ounce bars are going to be about the biggest thing you want to probably be stacking. The 1,000 ounce bars are a little bit cumbersome, a little bit harder to verify their authenticity because they're just so big. For general purposes, you're going to be looking at something in the range of 1 gram to 100 ounces when you're stacking silver bars. Now, to start off with the fractional silver like this 1 gram bar or this 5 gram bar, I would probably steer clear of these uh, in general. The premiums on these are super high. Even something like this YPS hand poured silver bar, even though this is really cool, it is only a half ounce. And the premium that you're going to be paying on small fractional silver bars like that is just going to make it prohibitive. You're not going to get that much silver for your money. You're going to be paying maybe a 50% markup um, or more for some of these tiny fractional silver bars. So probably something you want to steer clear of unless you're getting it for some specific purpose. I mean, I bought these bars just to illustrate fractional silver in a video I was doing a while ago. So I do have a couple of small fractional silver pieces. But really, if you're looking for fractional silver, my recommendation would be to go with something like this, a mercury dime. Now, that's a topic for another video, and I'm not going to get too much into that, but I just want to point out that small bars like this, unless you want to pay a lot more than you need to, probably not the best kind of silver to stack. And then, you know, we've got one ounce silver bars like these uh, Silvertown Mint bars, and these were actually some of the first silver bars that I ever stacked way back in 2010, I think, is when I picked these up. And at the time, I paid, I think, $17 an ounce. So <laughs> I'm in the green, not by a tremendous amount, considering it was uh, 12 years ago. But hey, you know, you don't buy silver to get rich quick. You don't buy it for the massive returns. Although, you know, in my opinion, I do think that probably some big gains are on the horizon as the financial system here kind of deteriorates. But again, that's a topic for another video. I just want to point out that silver bars do come in all sorts of varieties. Now, one ounce bars like this, not really my favorite type of silver bar to stack either. If I want to get a one ounce piece of silver these days, I would probably opt for a coin or a round over a bar. To me, the bars are really for your larger quantities of silver, the heavier bars, starting with something like this five ounce bar from the Northwest Territorial Mint. Now, five ounces is a good size. Although, again, not really my favorite. If I'm going to get something in that range, I much prefer something like this 10-ounce uh, Scottsdale bar. This is a cast bar. It's their chunky loaf bar, I think is what they call these. But the Scottsdale Mint makes really nice bars. And 10-ounce is a good denomination for bars. I think it's a nice round number, easy to add up, easy to multiply. That's why I kind of prefer it to the 5 ounces. Now, I mentioned that this is a cast bar, which most of the bars you're looking at are cast bars. That's an inexpensive way to produce silver bars, and so you'll get a lower premium on bars like that typically. This is an exception. This is a two-ounce poured bar from Monarch Precious Metals. 
poured bars like this, you can see each one is going to be unique because these are poured in an open mold. So they kind of have some ripples and some unique features to them. And these you are going to pay a premium for when you're shopping. Uh, typically poured bars are going to fetch a premium over your uh, cast bullion bars. But the thing about those is when you go to sell them, you'll probably get that premium back. I don't primarily stack poured bars. I do have a few in my stack. And to me, they're a little bit more like a gamble because they have sort of a collectible aspect to them as well. They're not just a pure bullion investment. You do pay a little bit more than the silver spot price for them. But at the same time, long-term holding in the future, those may have some collectability to them. Right now in 2022, older bars, bars from say the 80s or the 90s that are poured bars, they do fetch quite a premium over the spot price because there is a collectible market for them. So, you know, it's not the bulk of my stack, but I do like to get some poured bars every now and then. One, because they're just cool bars and they're, they're awesome, but also because there is the potential for some additional gains there in terms of uh, those bars being collectible. Speaking of the Scottsdale Mint, you can see I have a couple of their products here. I've got this 20 ounce loaf bar. I've got their 10 ounce stackers. You can see these stack up really nice. And these have some nice added features like um, they have an individual serial number, some security uh, pattern on the back there. So Scottsdale Mint makes some really nice bars. Now, I'm not really stacking a lot of these at the moment. Uh, the reason that I have them, and I have quite a few of these, is because back in the day, uh, you know, four or five years ago, the Scottsdale Mint used to run sales on their eBay store where they would price these things pretty close to spot. And so whenever they would do that, I would always try to pick some up and just accumulate them over time whenever they would run sales. Now, those sales are few and far between. In fact, I haven't seen one in over a year. Maybe I'm just missing them. I don't know if you guys know where you can get these uh, for a low premium. Let me know. But the situation right now is that the premium on the Scottsdale Mint bars has gone up and you really can't find them for those uh, sale prices anymore. So, you know, that means two things. One, I'm going to look for some cheaper silver to buy right now. I'm not trying to pay a high premium, but it also means that I'm glad to have accumulated the ones that I did back when they were low premium. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that when I share with you what I think is the best silver bar to be buying right now, because there are bars right now that are on sale and are a good deal, just like these were a couple years ago, which I think may appreciate the same way these have. But before we get to that, let's just talk about some of the other sizes of silver real quick. There are kilo bars. So if you don't want to be denominated in troy ounces, you can go with something like a kilo bar that's going to be in metric. And kilo bars really, I think, are a great size. They're kind of an ideal size because they're a nice, chunky, stackable form of silver, but they're not quite as big as one of these 100-ounce bars. I mean, this thing is heavy. If you drop this on your foot, you're breaking a toe at the least, you know? So you got to be careful with these 100-ounce bars. The premium difference, generally with silver bars, the bigger the bar you get, the lower the premium is. You know, all other things being the same, it's easier for mints to produce big bars like this than to produce a bunch of small bars like this. So they're going to charge you a lower premium. But the premium difference between, say, a one kilo bar and a 100 ounce bar, it's not going to be too significant in most cases. So for me, the one kilo bars are really an ideal size. Um, and just to show you the difference, this is also a kilo bar, and you can see how different these look. This is one from the Scottsdale Mint. It's their 2021 Year of the Ox a Zodiac Stacker Bar. And if you get, I only have one of these, so I can't stack them up. But uh, if you pick up multiple Scottsdale Mint kilo stackers, you can stack them up nicely. They have that little lip there. Um, and you can just see that bars really do come in all shapes and sizes. These both weigh the same, but clearly very different bars. This is just an OPM a recycled silver generic bar. And this is a slightly nicer one put out by the Scottsdale Mint. So even among bars of the same size, there can be quite a bit of variety. Oh, one thing I do want to share with you just that I think is kind of funny is this is a Mint ID bar. And I've put this in videos in the past. I've talked about these. They have a little microchip on the back that you can scan with uh, NFC. And if you don't know what NFC is, it's near field communication. Basically, you can hold your phone up to this and it will scan the bar and it will verify its authenticity using the Mint ID app. And I get a lot of comments on the videos. I'm sure I'll get some on this one. People think that you're getting tracked and, you know, it's a invasion of privacy to have a chip on your bar. Well, don't buy these then if you feel that way. I mean, to me, having a little NFC chip on the back is nice because it can help prevent counterfeits. I don't think people are trying to counterfeit these Mint ID bars. They're probably trying to do something... Uh, 
an easier target where they don't have to try to compensate for the fact that this has a security chip on the back. And like I said, NFC, you have to be right next to the device to scan it. So, you know, if you don't want your bar to be tracked, just don't scan it with your phone. But when you go to sell, you might appreciate having that added security feature if the person buying the bar from you, um, you know, is convinced that it's not a counterfeit by that. So it could just make things easier for you in the future. If you don't want to get a bar with a microchip, I understand. It's not for everybody. But to me, you know, I bought this from an online dealer, so it's hardly anonymous anyway. There is a record that I own this silver bar. You're not going to get tracked with 5G or anything with an NFC chip. I've had comments to that effect, so, you know, it takes all kinds. But anyway, uh, that's just a, a kind of a funny note for me. I, I only own a couple of these. I, I bought them one time uh, just because I thought they were neat, and I thought they were on, I think maybe they were on sale. This, by far, the most controversial silver bar that's ever been featured on this channel, so take that for what it's worth. I won't keep you guys waiting any longer. I'm going to share with you what I think is the best type of bar to be stacking right now, and it's not a specific size, but it is a specific brand. And right now, these Germania Mint bars, I think, are just fantastic. This is a 500 gram, so a half kilo bar, that I picked up from HeroBullion.com. Now, I've only shopped with them one time, and they are a relatively new dealer, so... Uh, you know, I had a good experience with them. I had a little bit of a trouble setting up my account with them, but their customer service was able to resolve that pretty uh, quickly for me. So good, very good experience overall. They shipped my silver out to me in a reasonable time, and their prices are just great. So at least for now, uh, Hero Bullion definitely has the Smart Silver Stacker seal of approval. And you can see this is a beautiful bar. It's cast, um, but it does have this kind of plastic shrink wrap over it, which I'm just going to leave on there because... That is going to keep this bar looking very nice, combined with the fact that each bar comes with a box like this, and then it's got the individual serial number, just like the Scottsdale Stacker, but then it also has this holographic security feature on the back. So lots of nice features on this bar. One of the things I really like about that plastic wrapping is you can see my 10 ounce uh, Scottsdale stacker here. This one is kind of dinged up. Now, I have more of these that are kind of squirreled away and I don't handle them a lot. And you know, they look a lot nicer than this one, but this one is a little bit dinged up because it's one of the ones that I kind of keep on hand and I use for videos. So I'm handling it a little bit more than some of my other bars. But if you have something like this Germanium in bar with this plastic wrap over it, it's not gonna get dinged up like that. And Okay, it's really not that big of a deal if your silver bars get a little bit of uh, wear marks or some handling, a little bit of dings or scratches, because honestly, they're just an investment in silver. They're always going to be worth their silver weight, no matter what they look like. But if you have two bars side by side, and one is in just fantastic condition like this one, and one is a little bit dinged up or scratched like this one, when you go to sell them, I think it's pretty clear which one you're buyer is going to prefer. They're going to want the one that looks nicer. So that's definitely a nice feature. And the really good thing about these is that Hero Bullion has these for a very low premium, uh, especially considering what a nice bar they are and what kind of features they have. So the Germania Mint bars, they come in half kilo like this. They also have a five ounce bar and a 10 ounce bar. I was actually going to buy their 10 ounce bar, but they were out of stock. So I went with this half kilo instead. And I got to tell you, I really like this uh, 500 gram size. It's it's kind of close to 10 grams. It's a little bit heftier, but a little bit more manageable than a kilo bar. But to give you an idea of what a good deal these are right now, if you go over to SD Bullion, and SD Bullion is one of my favorite dealers. Nothing bad to say about them. I've purchased from them many times. They have great prices. But if you go over to SD Bullion right now and you want to get a generic one kilo silver bar, kind of like this one, you're going to pay $871.71. Now, obviously, you know, that price is going to fluctuate. That's just the price at the time I'm recording this video. But if you go over to Hero Bullion and you look at the one kilo version of this Germania Mint Bar, if you just buy one, you're going to pay $849.50. So you're going to pay significantly less for a much nicer bar, in my opinion. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to argue that a nice serial numbered bar that comes with shrink wrap, it comes with its own box, it comes with a holographic image for counterfeit protection, is a nicer bar than this. I mean, this is just a recycled lump of silver. And, you know, I'm not hating on this OPM one kilo fine silver bar. I think it's a cool bar and all that. But when I can pay less and get a bar with all those additional features, I really do think that's a better deal. 
if you go over to Hero Bullion and you're shopping around, they might be out of stock in a few of these. Um, I'm sure at the prices that they're uh, selling these for, they're probably running through them pretty quickly, but they seem to be doing a good job of getting them back in stock. I've been keeping an eye on them, and it seems like when they run out of something, they get it back in stock within a few days. And one last nice feature of these germanium mint bars is each one does come in this cool little box, which uh, helps with storage. It helps them from getting dinged up. But if you buy them in quantity, and it depends on the size, uh, I think the quantity is different for each size bar. But if you buy, I think, five of the kilo bars, for example, you get a nice mint box that comes along with it that they'll be packed in. That goes for all of their bar sizes. When I say it's a different quantity to get the box with different sizes, like for example, I think with the 10 ounce bars, you got to buy 10 of them. But my point is that you get a lot of nice premium features with this germanium mint bar. And that is going to be my number one choice for silver bars to be stacking and investing in in 2022. And it's kind of like these Scottsdale bars. You know, these Scottsdale bars, I was picking them up four or five years ago for a very low premium. I was getting them close to spot price. And now you can't find them close to spot price anymore. The premiums are what they are. So I'm very happy to have accumulated some of these. If I go to sell these, I will probably get a bigger premium for them than what I paid, which is awesome. That's what you want with physical silver investment. You know, taking advantage of rising premiums is uh, something you can do with physical silver. You want to buy when premiums are low and then you want to sell when premiums are high. And that's not just across the board. It can be product specific. Like I said, these used to go on sale. You could get them close to spot. Now you go to sell them, you're going to get a nice premium. So Anyway, I think that that trend will probably repeat itself with these germanium mint bars. I would not be surprised if several years from now you will no longer be able to find these on sale from dealers like Hero Bullion. Head over to Hero Bullion if you want to grab some bars. Again, I'm not affiliated with them at all. Uh, I don't, you know, get a kickback from them or anything. I just think that they have the best prices on silver bars at the moment. If you guys know of some other places that have great prices on silver bars let me know in the comments below let me know what your favorite silver bars of all time are i would love to know and thank you all very much for tuning in if you like this video do please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more videos about silver and silver stacking then check out these videos right here and i will catch you next time smart silver stacker out